views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of this station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. Hi, welcome. This is Dr. John Martini. This is one of the most amazing and inspiring shows that you can listen into. If you want to be on the edge of your seats, if you want to open up your heart, if you want to expand your mind, and you want to meet incredible people, stay tuned because you're just about to experience a transformative radio show that will change your life. And you're listening to the Dr. Pat Show that's coming up right next. The following audio is via a Skype call. Welcome to the Dr. Pat Show. Talk radio to thrive by. Powerful, inspiring, and coming to you live, bringing you stories of people like you and me, busting through and living life full out. Get ready to dare to wonder what your life would be like if you knew you could not fail. Hey, everybody. Welcome, 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 everybody. Happy happy Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Happy day. Happy day. Happy day. That's Dr. Agnes Frankel joining me here today. We got a big show. The key element to upgrade your health in a quick and consistent way. Dr. Agnes, thank you so much for joining me here today. Let's stop for a minute. Let's talk about you before we jump into this. You know, you and I were talking before the show and you said, you know, I am committed to helping people. And I wanted to just ask you this one question. You know, all the work that you've done to help people, you know, you have graduated from university, you've graduated, you've studied You understand what training is about. You've studied anti-aging medicine. You're somebody that's out in the world that understands the full range of what it means to help and heal people in the world. And the question really is, what are you most excited about today? What is it about your life? And when you look back on it, that has prepared you for what you're about to do? Hmm. Well, Dr. Pat, uh, first of all, hello, hello. I'm so happy to be here, especially that today is Martin Luther King Jr. Day. So it's a very special day for all of us, I guess. Uh, and thank you for having me here. So coming back to your question, it's really mm, a big one. Because what makes me really happy and fulfilled is uh, as cliche as it sounds, helping people. Uh, I've done a lot of coaching sessions through the last three, four years, and I'm also a medical doctor working in a hospital. So kind of linking all of that together, seeing uh, happy faces is something that makes my day. And that really is. So I think I was just getting ready for uh, rocking with my mission. Let's, let's call it like that. And really uh, like making uh, one person at a time more and more, uh, healed and more and more, you know, uh, joyful and full of the the good vibes. So, yeah. Well, and you know, this is what I love. Today's show in what we're talking about, the key elements, right? Um, And, you know, this is really part of a bigger conversation that you and I are going to have moving forward. But most importantly is it's, it is time for a massive action plan, isn't it? Tell us why. Uh, so massive action plan is something uh, everyone should have healed, yes. not cured. If you want to have wellness or not, it's something, uh, you know, it's like, a, uh, something like a must have. So for all those years, what I've really managed to see is something really simple and actually the simpler, the better and the simplest things are the most powerful. That's what I know now for sure. And that's like a treasure. If it's simple and it works that's like, you know, success. So yeah. the key element to upgrade everyone's health in a quick and consistent way is actually really simple yet difficult because uh, it, uh, it takes time and it takes uh, being with yourself uh, one-to-one and asking yourself the very basic question. And you need to dare to ask yourself this question. So uh, I actually, let me share the question, right? Yes. So the question is why? And let me explain more about that. When I'm coaching one-to-one, every time 
during our coaching conversations and having, you know, the goals and the aims, uh, uh, I ask people, okay, why do you want to do it? Why do you want to be healthy? Why do you want to lose weight? Why do you want to be happier? Why do you want to fall in love? Like whatever the health wellness, why is? And the why, the really honest why is like a racket to making your life better and really thriving with the health and you know it's it's really game changer yet before having your true honest why we are just having all those stories why we do want to do some stuff but actually it's not the truth so digging into your why is like the basic basic element do you agree with me dr Pat? i totally agree with you because you know it's not just asking a a, a question about why and then drilling down and then stopping when somebody says, oh, this is it. There's a real, there's a why, and then there's a real why. And, yeah. you, you know, we're afraid to say the real why. You know, mm -hmm. somehow we've learned along the way, Dr. Agnes, that, um, wait a minute, to really fully express our real why is uh, an admission to maybe some fear. And, you know, I don't know that that's all bad. I mean, for me, when I had the desire to go back to school, right, and mm -hmm. if you ask me why, 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 you know, bottom line came down to, uh, for me at the time, clearly I know that was a, there's a different reason that I went back to school that I couldn't have even planned. But my initial why had to do with, I want to make sure that <clears throat> I have a kind of education that my family, no one in my family ever had. Because the world is telling me that I need to have some kind of education. And if I have that education, the idea was, which I now know was not true, was <clears throat> that there'll be some stability for myself and my family. Now, I know now, looking back, that is not why I went back to school for eight years. To, so that I could be called Dr. Pat, you could be called Dr. Agnes. I yeah. now know that the universe had a different reason why. But my original why, right? Wasn't that mm -hmm. a way to help me get the ball going? Yep. And actually, uh, how because I've got all, you know, the, people ask me, how do we know that this why is the right why? Well, the answer <laughs> is very simple. If the why really helps you wake up every day being excited about what you're going to achieve, uh, according to your health, wellness, or like whatever in life. If it's helping you in the tough moments, that's your real true why. Uh, if not, if not your why. So we need to dig bigger. And let me share with you uh, a yeah. book. Actually, I would like to mention Viktor Frankl. Uh, yes. She was the very famous Austrian neurologist and psychiatrist, as well as Holocaust survivor. And he, he was the founder of Logotherapy, and a, uh, he wrote a very exciting book and very deep book, Men's Search for Meaning. Uh, in the book, he uh, wrote about all his experiences during a concentration camp and uh, what led him to discover the importance of finding meaning in all forms of existence. And what's really interesting that people, the Holocaust survivors, who really, those who survived the Holocaust had really big meaning why they want to do it, why they want to live, what for. Those who didn't, they didn't have the meaning in life. So actually, uh, even if we're thinking about the huge aspect, like why are we living, why are we here? So not only according to our health or wellness, it's all about the why and the meaning. And each of us needs to figure it out, right? So the why, there's the big why and there are the small whys. Why, why do I want to be healthy or why do I want to lose weight? So I, I would say, I guess... Our life is puzzled with all these different big and small whys, and we really need to ask ourselves this question and be honest about that. Yeah. And, you know, let's talk about, if we could, you know, what happens when we can unleash some of the things we have within us. I mean, you talk about creating new empowering habits, and part of that has to do with um, looking at ego, right? And yeah, yeah. let's talk about habits because so much time is spent on habits, habits, habits right now. Um, mm -hmm. And I wanted to get your sense of it, right? Because I yeah. have some pretty dang good habits, right? Not all of them. Mm -hmm. But how mm -hmm. do habits help us? Okay. So first of all, if we're speaking about habits and still according to wellness and health, uh, at first we need to go back to the question. So Habit must be really something that is cheerful for us, that is friendly, and that helps us to rock. 
So habits, if we want to have sustainable habit, it can't be something that is putting us down and that actually harms our health. Uh, oh, I would love to tell you about one person. He's a medical doctor also, holistic practitioner and a great soul. His name is Gabriel Cousins, uh, and he's the owner of Tree of Life Center in Arizona. He has got amazing, amazing quote, uh, which is, you need to love yourself enough in order to heal. Which means, actually, that your habits needs to be uh, in tune with loving yourself and being, you know, ego-friendly in order to achieve your aim according to uh, wellness and health. So if you want to ditch those kilograms or, you know, if you just want to lose weight and you are going to deprive yourself, that's not really an empowering habit, right? So in the long run, you are not going to achieve your aim. Okay, you can lose your weight for, like, one week, two weeks for the event you wanted, but you won't stick to it. And uh, that's really something I read yesterday when Oprah was sharing how she was trying to lose weight. And she said that she was trying to do it for years and years on and on, and she couldn't really stay with the perfect weight she wanted until she changed her intention. So she changed the intention she, uh, why she wanted to do it. And when she changed the intention uh, to, I want to be my, in my best health ever, I want to thrive with my health and with my weight, I want my weight to be the best for myself, that's when, we, uh, when she started to see the results. And that's when actually she started to have the sustainable weight. So that's really interesting, right? How the right. intention and how the habits that are empowering really helps us to thrive. So if, uh, if we want to achieve something, at first, we need to have habits that, as I said, are really, really making us uh, grow in a good way and uh, habits that are empowering us. And second thing, we as humans, which is uh, scientifically proven, we need to repeat things on a daily basis to make yeah. them happen and to make them sustainable. That's why habits, or rituals, as you can call them, are so important. So if you do something once in a while, mm -mm, mm. you you just it, it won't happen. You can stick to it. Uh, but if you do something on a daily basis, day after day after day, and it's a habit for you, is the recipe for success. And again, how to do something on a daily basis, how to make it a habit. A habit. So we are going back to the why. If you're why is big enough to do something every day that's how you can uh that's the easiest way to, yeah. to you know to have the habit happen because you've got yeah. your why you've got your first thing in the morning you know why you want to do it and you're doing it every single day for good and for bad right even yeah. if you're detoxing even if you just want to achieve this wellness uh during the detox time like just fasting you will have times when you just feel like crap when your your body is detoxifying and you're just having second thought about doing it or not or whatever and that's when you really need to have your why on daily basis and your habit like yes i'm sticking to it i'm drinking the juice for like five more days that's my habit for now and i i just want to do it because that's my why and it's so big i'm gonna do it yeah well, you know, let's talk about this. Not not only is this something that you're doing and working with people over the world, but also you have today for our listeners, you know, you have said, listen, I am I would love to talk to people. Uh, and you've offered a free coaching session for the first three people who go to your website and just fill out the registration on the coaching page. Tell people, first of all, I would love for you to share uh, you know, what your website is and how people can find out more about you. And then we're going to get back and talk about, you know, this idea of how we take, I take that why and change it into our greatest what. What's the best way for people to, uh, you know, register for that free coaching session with you? Uh, okay, so for now, um um, for now, the coaching is full, but if you write me emails, all of people who write me emails and put their Dr. Pat show in the title uh, will be first uh, on the list to be noticed when the, the spaces are open. Um, 
for now I'm fully booked, uh, but uh, as I said, uh, uh, when only you write email with Dr. Pat's show, I will make sure that as soon as possible you will hop and having the coaching session with me. And yeah. my website is uh, dragnesfrankel.com and what uh, you can do for now is uh, subscribing and uh, really diving into Med Rebel TV, so uh, my vlogs and my uh let's call it like tv channel when i'm sharing in a i hope fun way how you can really achieve the wellness and what you can do in easy in easy steps so yeah that's what i would love to share with everyone awesome you know and here's what i love about this i love that you're full because here's the here's what i know that you know you are doing work that is transformative in the world and that is what people want. They want to work with others that are ready, willing, and able to help them change and shift. And so how do we get things going? What is it that we really struggle with? I know that I've talked to a number of people over the weekend, and the hardest thing they have to do is put themselves first because they're out there giving, 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 giving. And that's going to be important for, for us to do. But I want to hear your perspective on that. Well, uh, Dr. Pad, you are so right. Uh, it happens all the time that uh, people are such a big givers and they don't want to take care of, uh, of themselves. And actually, we are taught as a society, especially women, that taking care of ourselves is bad. That at first, you, should, you know, should be our family, our kids, our husband or the guy and then uh, then us. Uh, but uh, that's so wrong. That's so wrong because it's like in the airplane, you know, in case of emergency, what you do, whom you put the oxygen to. Yourself, right? Because only when you take care about yourself, you can help others like kids and people around, surrounding you. So it's the same aspect when, it's, when it comes to your health. When you're healthy and thriving and you, when you feel good, when you feel excited about life, when you feel like, yeah, I'm thriving, I'm my best self, you can help other people. You're smiling and you're just, you know, sharing the good vibes all around. The, uh, uh, on the contrary, when you feel down, depressed, when you feel like, okay, there is no point to just keep going uh, and you're just uh, actually uh, living on autopilot, it's when uh, you're spreading, you know, the bad energy and uh, that's not what we would like to achieve. That's why the first uh, really important thing when it comes to the ego and the aspect of our own body is to putting ourselves first uh, in order to help ourselves and others. So we need to uh, commit that we are the priority, that I'm the priority, you are the priority and just remember that. And again, it sounds so easy, right? But somehow, uh, when I'm saying that, people are like, hmm, does it mean I'm egoistic? I don't want to be. No. But on the other hand, is being egoistic a really bad thing, you know, in the approach I'm sharing with you now? So if you want to change your life, start with yourself. Just commit having time with yourself, you know, diary, going for a walk, uh, the longest friendship you're going to have, the longest relationship you're going to have is the one with yourself. Of course, you've got kids, you've got family, but come on, you and your body, that's really the longest relationship ever. And when you look at this from that point, everything looks so much easier, right? Because then you know you need to really nourish yourself in the best way you need to take care of yourself that your body is a vehicle and if you want to thrive you need to take care of your body because only when you're healthy you can take care of the rest am i right dr pat what do you think absolutely <laughs> you can't do it i mean and you know what happens is that it's always easier i think dr agnes sometimes to take care of others and, or uh, versus treat ourselves well and, you know, whatever that is, and I'm not saying that that's true, but I know that studies have been done showing that women uh, especially are going to, uh, you know, give freely, 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 be there for others, yeah. even at the expense of their own health and well-being. Uh, and I think that is a very, very important thing to do. Um, and, you know, the last part of this, which is really important to look at is, you know, Nike says it. 
just do it. Just do it. Yeah. Um, and, you know, what are the components of winning from your perspective and success? Well, as, uh, as you said, actually, as you mentioned, uh, I will do it. So uh, basically how to keep going. You know, it's like now New Year's, New Year's resolutions. We've got all this great list of things that we want to achieve in 2017. And uh, somehow, are we really doing it? Are we? Are we? And uh, well, the research shows that 70% from people who are having the, you know, New Year's resolution list are not sticking to them uh it's painful right yeah. but on the other hand it's worth to thinking why why is it like that so it's good to you know set yourself up to win to have someone who will help you to be on track so it might be a coach that's why coaching sessions are so powerful but it might Very. be like a friend someone from your family your co-mate whoever whoever is just willing to help you and stick with the program and stick with your resolution towards yourself and you know your goal uh, and uh, one warming it must be someone who is uh, willing to love you or like you so much uh, in order to help you be sometimes you know uh, angry at you in a way like you know uh, really puts you out of your comfort zone so if you uh, want to look for someone who is going to help you look for someone actually who is really uh, who wants your best uh, yeah. Even if it means uh, to push you a little bit out of your comfort zone and to make things uncomfortable, that's when we grow and that's when the true transformation happens. So I will do it. It's like, you know, do it a daily habit. Have your why. Spend time with yourself. And this is big warming, uh, warning because actually when you spend time with yourself, meditating, uh, diary, writing diary, uh, very often it happens that your why changes, your goals changes. You start knowing yourself better. You've got this relationship with yourself, which you didn't have for a very long time. And it's magical in a way. You know, during the coaching sessions, uh, uh, people experience that, hey, I wanted something, but I think I'm different now and I don't want it anymore. And it's so beautiful to see, like, when people are growing, because of knowing themselves, because of, you know, having these daily habits of just being with themselves, having this walk, listening to this music, or just having this meditation right. and cherishing them as a human being, asking themselves about their wants, their needs, and how they can fulfill their mission in life. So what's the meaning of their lives and why they want to be healthy? Because being healthy is not the answer in itself. Being healthy is always for something. And uh, the most powerful aspect is, I guess, uh, being healthy in order to help others. And uh, everyone, I truly believe that everyone has got his own mission in here and um, aim to do something, you know, a talent, a gift. And to really share this gift with everyone else, you need to be your best self. You need yeah. to be healthy and thriving. But because that's the only way you can share the gift. No other way. That's why no. you need to take care of yourself. And now it's not egoistic. It's just a must, right? Because right. it's your mission. Right. Yeah. And, you know, part of this, too, is when we are uh, at that place of understanding, you know, the why, now the what, it's just doing it. What do you think is, the? Uh, give us a few tools to help people in the just doing it thing, you know, to commit to doing it, get out of the comfort zone and do it. Okay, so uh, the first uh, tool is uh, having uh, a notebook. When you uh, put the starting point and the end point, hope, uh, or just the starting point, and commit every day with uh, timing, with the really like with an hour, like let's say every day eight o'clock p.m. that you are going to do something. And uh, when that time comes, set an alarm clock and just do it. That was really help. That's a tool that's it's really powerful. So scheduling it. If something is scheduled, that's when it's happening. So only schedule thing, scheduling things can help you to achieve them. That's really, really powerful tool. Mm. The second one, which is also powerful, is 
uh, as I mentioned before, having someone willing to help you. And as I said, uh, help in helping, I mean being a friend, but also someone who is pushing you out of your comfort zone. So uh, someone who is really, really, uh, who really wants the best for you uh, as a coach, as a friend, as a, uh, you know, your second part. So that's really powerful tool. Uh, and also um, surround yourself with uh, meditation tapes, with great books and uh, set the time to be with yourself, to speak, to, uh, to listen to uh, people who had the adventure before you and who really achieved their aims, their goals. Uh, and, uh, and just try to follow, try to follow according to your own soul and what you think is right for you. And also, of course, uh, coaching sessions are a big part in it, but you can do it without coaching if, you're, if that's not something you're aiming for. It's just, you know, to know your why. And uh, that's how we are coming back to the uh, first point. So to the beginning of our episodes today, if you have your why and your why is big enough, you will just do it. Your why is like, you know, the rope that you will fly on till the uh, ending point. Because if this is really huge why, oh, come on. We both know, I think all of us know that we will do it anyways, right? We just need to have the why. And if we don't have this why, maybe the aim is not for us. Maybe that's exactly. not our aim. Or maybe that's not the why. <laughs> and that's when we need to dig more and more. Yeah. Well, you know, this is part of really making this really super simple for people so that we can, um, you know, look at what our lives could be like and make the necessary changes. Dr. Agnes, thank you so much for today. One last question. What, what's your personal message? What would you like to leave us with? Uh, my personal message is uh, something I shared before that, uh, think about yourself as someone who has got real mission and uh, is here on this world with everyone else having his special gift and uh, taking care of yourself making sure you're healthy, you're thriving, and uh, you're surrounded with the wellness that you feel beautiful and uh, you're glowing inside and out, showing the good positive vibes, is a part of uh, what you need to do being here as a soul, as a human being. So in order to share your gift, whatever this gift is, you just need to be healthy. So just think about this, consider this, and ask yourself, how can you help yourself today? What single small step you can make now, today, to start going in the right direction? I love it. Dr. Agnes Frankel, thank you so very much for today. Um, and I got to tell you. you, one of my favorite books is the book written by Viktor Frankl. It is one of the oh, most yeah. transformative, That's true. Uh, I think transformative, yeah. powerful books that we could read. Thank you so much for being thank who you, you so are. Much. Thank you. Hey, everybody, we're going to take a short break. We'll be right back. More with the Dr. Pat Show. Thank you. The audio was via a Skype call.